good things have a bad side You spend your time waiting around For the fall, not the goodbye When you're naive and so green It makes it hard to believe How life works when you're older Even the best of us get hurt sometimes Could be from life or love or don't know why It's all out of our hands Nobody will ever understand Blame yourself and don't ask why That's the art of getting by That's the art of getting by It gets easy to become blind to the good things Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I've just literally woke up. So my hair is literally a right mess. Um, I thought today that I would vlog just because for once I'm actually doing things, something interesting to vlog for you. And I've done so many sit down like videos and stuff, like loads of sit down like hauls and that, which you guys love just as much as me. But I just wanted to like do a bit more chatty one and just something a little bit different. So it's going to be a kind of a long vlog. So just sit back, relax, stay cosy in your pyjamas um, and just hopefully enjoy this vlog. So yeah, I've got a few things to do today. As you saw at the start of this video, um, I've already done a few bits this morning. I'm currently back in bed because I forgot to charge my phone last night. So I just come back up to charge my phone and I kind of like crawled back into bed. But I really need to drag myself back out because I've got so much to do today. I'm actually just finishing off my cup of tea Mickey made me, which to be honest is pretty cold now. Um, I also just now went through my little book, which I actually forgot to show you in my B&M haul. So yeah, I got this from B&M. It's the Mrs. Hinch, the little book of lists. And I don't know about you, but I love writing lists. And when I saw this in there, I was like, oh, I'm getting that. I wish I actually bought a couple just because I feel like I'm going to fill this up so quick. But it just has like loads of little sections that you can write out like loads of different lists and that there's like a little freshen up friday section i've just finished doing my um skincare routine so i do the same like beauty skincare routine every morning and night and as you saw from the montage bit i've been using the clarisol 12 hour clara products which i normally get from savers because they're really really cheap in there they're about three pounds each so i use the facial scrub and then the facial wash every morning and night um and as an extra kind of like step in the evening um in my skincare routine i'll just put some like spot cream on um for some reason i've been really anxious lately i don't know about you guys and i feel like it's just broke out some spots on my face i just wanted to share that with you so if you're like getting really bad spots as well don't worry you you're not you're in you're in the boat with everyone else i think i've just been feeling really anxious so i don't know if you been feeling the same as well let me know down below how you've been feeling and what things you've been doing to try and kind of pick yourself up and that but yeah i've got to go and do a bit of an essential shop i have to go to b&m and lidl's um i also want to do a bit of bacon later on as well some like make some cinnamon buns or i've actually bought this like a kit where you can make parma violet like cupcakes so i don't know which ones i'm gonna do yeah so i also need to go to ikea this is such a long story and i'm gonna try and cut it short but you guys know that harriet doesn't always cut things short basically i made an order and it was for about 100 pounds worth of stuff so i thought i might as well just collect it rather than pay 40 pound for delivery um especially seeing as i go past literally ikea's front door to go to b&m I went to go and collect it when it said it was ready to find out loads of things were missing and the guy said they'd split up my order into four different orders. The last little bits they've decided to split up into two different 
orders which is really annoying so one of them is what i've got to collect today so i'll show you them bits later but then the next one that i've got to go and collect contains one item and it's just a straw like placemat which is really annoying so um but that is the troubles of when you order from ikea basically a little sneak peek of like what's been going on in this room i'm gonna do a proper reveal in another video soon but i'm now gonna do my basically skincare routine like my my once a week skincare routine which is where i like to use this beauty device so you guys know that i always use like my facial brush like every day as well when i'm putting on my facial wash but i've got a new little gadget well i say gadget it's like my new best friend i absolutely love it and i can't wait to show you so i'm just gonna quickly go downstairs sort out a few other bits i'm gonna i'm gonna try and dust and then i'll come back up and i'm gonna show you this little beauty um device that i was actually kindly gifted guys and yeah so it's time to show you this beauty device that i've been wanting to share with you for so long guys so i wanted to obviously try it out first before i obviously review it and tell you about it guys and as you can see i absolutely love it so i've been using it for about two weeks now and it's the touch beauty three in one facial beauty device this is the actual packaging so i'm just gonna go through like the packaging show you what you get with this device and then tell you more about it and show you how it works so i really absolutely love the packaging just because it just looks and feels so like luxury and this is what it looks like inside so this little window here you would normally obviously have the beauty device shown in there and um let's just actually show you the beauty device because that might help mine so this is what it looks like um and then inside you have this long box here this has like the wires and the goggles in so it actually comes with a pair of goggles this is what you have to wear when you are using the light therapy head and then you also get this little kind of wallet which has like a little cleaning cloth in and then you get this little wallet that you can use to obviously store your heads your attachments in or the device and then you have these two boxes here that as you can see has the heads inside so this is the beauty device Device itself at the moment we've got the facial roller on there and all you do is twist and the head pops off this is the light therapy head actually comes with different settings which I'll tell you about in a minute and then this is like the kind of I call this the contour head because this is so good for contouring around like your lips um, and just around like your fine line areas or like areas where you often get or you find that you're getting wrinkles so we're going to start off with this little head obviously it's the facial rolling head so this is one of the heads that i use the most often guys so obviously i use this definitely once a week and um this facial head massage is a micro current facial massage head and what this does is that has microcurrents that penetrate into like your skin it helps with contouring like your jawline like around your cheekbones so the microcurrent facial massage head actually has five intensity levels so i've actually only been using um the first one just because obviously i want a build up until i get to the higher one and all you do is slide the massage rollers from the jaw to the cheekbones or from the mouth to the ears. And honestly, it feels so, so nice. The next head is the microcurrent eyes and lips area massage head. And this is really good, obviously, like it says, to use around your eye and lip area. I find that when I use it around my mouth area, I just find it really gives like my lips like this kind of a plumping effect and i find you know i haven't ever had lip fillers and i don't think i ever will have them just because i don't know i just like to keep my lips kind of natural but you know there's every girl wants their lips to look a little bit more plump and like a little bit juicy um, and i just find this has really been making like my lips look really plump so now moving on to the light therapy head which this is being so good for actually helping with like my spots so the red light 
Use the red light therapy in areas you're concerned with wrinkles and fine lines. So I haven't really used the red light that much just because I don't really feel like I have any kind of wrinkles or fine lines. Um, touch wood. And then the yellow light, you use the yellow light therapy in areas you want to improve your skin tone. So I've actually been using that around like my cheek areas just because I found that I've got a few like kind of acne scars and I have found that it has lightened them up a lot. And then the blue light which is what I've been using a lot and the blue light therapy is used in areas where you want to like treat acne. But honestly, these two heads I've been using a lot um i use this now and then obviously around like my lip and my eye area um i honestly i would recommend you put this on like your birthday list or i know christmas is very far away but maybe even adding this to your christmas list so i'll obviously link everything down below i'll link obviously touch beauty's website and i'll obviously link this product in the description box down below definitely go and check out their website because they have loads of other different types of beauty devices on there now i'm going to go and actually get ready because it's starting to get late now yeah, yeah. more ready guys i've literally just got this massive oversized like hoodie on actually got this from shein which will be in a shein haul coming up soon i had like it came as a set with like matching trousers so you actually got the trousers and like the hoodie in one if that makes sense so i couldn't choose like the size of each item and someone said you needed a size up on the trousers really nice just obviously just floating around in the house in and honestly it feels so nice and soft but it's i don't know if you can see on camera but it's just like that material which i think will just stay really nice if that makes sense like some hoodies i've got just bobble um i've just put a little bit of concealer on like some of the red spots even though i'm going to put a mask on anyway but just because they are oh, i just made me feel like a little bit more i don't know a little bit more like confident like, yeah for now we're just heading out it's obviously snowing horrible outside and also i haven't obviously been out for over a week because i only go out like once a week to do like my essential shop so look at my car it is covered in snow it's going to take me like an hour just to basically clean down the car so i can get into it also i forgot to show you we um had a little flood in our bathroom a while back didn't we i think it was actually at the start of last year um and we've only just got round to getting the floor laid um so the floor's all laid obviously we rent this house so this was actually what the landlord chose but i actually really like it i think it goes with everything and then i just bought a few like new accessories for the bathroom just to like you know make it look a little bit nicer but um yeah everything is literally from poundland b&m or just upcycled um so like these i upcycled i just spray painted them and then put some like labels on um and i've got this little basket for my bath bombs in that's from like b&m um and then these were from home bargains and the contents also is from home bargains so i've got some exfoliating cubes i've also got some bath salts i just spray painted the lids this gold color um and then we've also got some bath rocks um just some like baskets plants and stuff this pot was from poundland and i just spray painted it it's just got some little bath pearls in there i also painted the side and then added this little extra handle on but yeah i don't want to do too much because obviously we only rent this house um and oh, something exciting guys but me and mickey hopefully might be getting our own house so hopefully um march april time we might be applying for a house and then hopefully i keep saying hopefully touch wood um definitely by the end of this year we'll be in our own place which is ours we actually own it if that makes sense we still want to build our own house but with how things are going and you know like how you know life goes into different directions this is probably going to be the best thing for us to like move into like a new build property um stay there for a little while until we find a bit of land that we really like and then build our own house the pugs are all down here 
Hello. Oh, look at you two. Look, you two little darlings. Oh, look at my little babies. They're all huddling together because it's cold. Oh, where did you just come from, Grace? Were you in Mario's little cage? Oh, you all had another little nap, didn't you? Oh, look at the little stretch with the little tail. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Gracie. Where's little Rosie? Rosie. Hello, darling. I look cute, my little marshmallow. Hello, mozzies. Like I said, guys, later on, we'll go out in the garden with the dogs so you can watch them literally run around in the garden. They look like little bunnies. Hello, Chunky. I thought I'd show you the pugs. I feel like you haven't seen them for a while. You normally see them running around in the back of my sit down like haul videos but most of the time i think they've got their bums to the camera which isn't the cutest end to look at oh you're giving me lots of kisses gracie you are darling okay enough of me just being all sappy and that i'm now going to get into my boots guys because these aren't going to really help me are they and i'm going to have to try and tackle the car um let's see how cold it is outside Oh yeah, that is pretty cold outside, so I think I'm going to have to wrap up nice and warm. Alright guys, I've got my puffer jacket on, my boots that Mickey got me from TK Maxx like years ago, but they're like, I'm pretty sure they're waterproof because I've been out in the snow yesterday and I didn't get wet. They're so nice and thick, I don't even wear socks with them, they're so nice, but um, this is the car situation. So I don't want to open up the car because... I need to get in the boot to get my scraper, but oh, this boot is so wet. As soon as you open up, like if it's wet or water dripping, um, help. Right, the car is officially like de snowed. Apparently, I didn't know this, this is how much I knew about my car, but apparently, this is meant to be really, really good for driving in weather like this. Apparently, it's got some kind of drive. Um, thing to it or something i don't know i don't really know about cars but right the sun is now coming out so it's really nice um apparently the roads are really slushy but some of the roads are busy so i'm still going to drive careful though right try to open up the door now about loads of snow okay it might help if i've unlocked it we have arrived at b and um i'm just going to go in and grab a few bits i've already been to Lidl's and got everything i wanted from there but i actually picked up some extra bits you know when you go into Lidl's, they always have like new in kind of food and stuff as well as like the middle of Lidl, they have like a whole new like range of stuff so i think this week later on in the week they're gonna have all the valentine things so i'm gonna have to pop back and get them um which is annoying but um, they've got like a load of American stuff in at the moment. So I picked up a load of stuff like from the American range. Obviously all naughty. Um, but I'll show you them when I get home. So I'm now going to go into B&M and get a few bits I need from there. Um, and uh, then I need to go to Ikea. But I forgot that there was a new a b and hair next to B&Q. So instead of driving all the way to the other one, which is near Ikea anyway... Um, I've just gone into a circle of my travels, so it's a bit more easier. But yeah, I didn't realise there was like a B&M hair. Well, I did, but I keep forgetting. And then just down the road, there's like a home bargain. So it's like the road of, it's like the devil road, because literally it's B&M and home bargains that only just needs to be a pound land. And literally my bank account will be zero. I'm now at Ikea, guys. This is the next point. Um, I actually grabbed myself some mini eggs but a little packet okay I, I was good and got a little packet there was a family packet but um i thought i better not be that fatty um and then i got mickey like this little cream egg for a little you know little treat when he gets back home from work even though i will admit it i swear these are shrunk in size because this looks tiny um it's now starting to like really snow um the roads aren't too bad to drive on they're just really slushy or they're just like just clear if that makes sense but I did get myself a broom. You can kind of see it. I kind of can, could like fit it in the car. But um, yeah, I got myself a broom. Uh, that's literally how exciting my life gets, guys. Um, I got myself a broom from B&M. And obviously I got loads of my other like cleaning bits and pieces that I needed. Um, but I'll show you some of the other bits and pieces I picked up um, from B&M. But 
yeah exciting i've got a broom guys i literally bought a broom but it was only 2.99 so i think that was a pretty like good bargain right she's now getting my order but you have to wait in your car and then they bring like the order to you um and i'm hoping that it is like everything else that i ordered um but on their little kind of app thing it says it's only like a couple of little things and i still have to come back and get that one place mat which ugh, oh, like i said i'm not gonna bother doing but um hopefully it is like everything because uh yeah that'll just be like perfect as if it is but i doubt it so I'm finally home and I thought I'd feed the dogs like a little bit early just because I got some videos to record and they'll literally be hounding me um, to tell me like they want their food. Hello Gracie, is it yummy? Look at her, she eats her so nicely and then you got this one, look, just gobbling it down. Rose eats hers nicely as well, sometimes Maro gobbles his down but yeah, oh my goodness guys, look outside. It is proper snowing now. Well, that's actually kind of lightened up a bit, but a minute ago is literally just kind of chucking it down. Um, I feel like I need to put some comfy pyjamas on, but I might keep these on for a while. Actually recording some clothes and not PJs. Um, I've got all my cake making stuff out ready. So um, I'm going to make these, I think, the Palm of Violets. This is the cupcake kit. I got it from Home Bargains. It was like £1.49. Oh, and from B&M, I got, yeah, myself a broom for 2 pounds But I got Mickey these gloves. I also got them the hat to match, but I just dropped it off to him at work. Um, and they were 3 pounds each. And they're the waterproof stay dry gloves and obviously hat. And they've got advanced waterproof membrane in. So the hat was, yeah, 3 pounds And then the gloves were 3 pounds Um they all come one size i would say the hat though didn't really fit on mickey's head that well we had to squeeze it on this is my wooden broom for 2.99 i think it's pretty good it's just to basically sweep down like the garage because loads of leaves and dirt blows in and just to sweep outside our front door i did pick up more stuff from b and m obviously but i'm gonna just show you them in like a haul video but i probably won't include them in my haul video because obviously they're not that interested even though i included them in this vlog um and then the things i got from lidl that i really want to show you is i got some of these low fat custard pots yeah they're 30 percent less fat and you get four in a pack i think they were one pound they were under two pound basically i can't remember what price they were um, and I thought these would be really good as like a little treat to have on me and Mickey's microwavable um, mug cake sachets that I bought. I'll show you them. I actually bought these last time. Where are they? I bought these last time I was in um, Lidl. And this is the chocolate chip one. And I think I also got another one. Hang on. As you can see, my cupboards are proper crammed full of stuff these are my little cupboards all my spices and this is all like my cake making things um and yeah i got rich chocolate as well they were like 49p each but normally i would make up my own like mug cake things because they're just so easy to make up but um i just saw these so i thought i would grab them but mickey always likes a bit of custard with cakes and that's why i obviously bought these um custard pots I bought some of these mini butter waffles ages ago and I thought it was like a one-off thing so I bought a couple of packets and Mickey don't really like waffles like this but he must have found them and thought you know what I'm hungry and tried a few and then he ended up loving them which is annoying so um, we end up getting through the two packets I bought because I like to have a couple like with my coffee as like a little naughty treat during the day um and luckily Lidl's have brought them back i didn't buy two packets this time because they had these ones in there as well so these were both 1.99 a packet and these are mini caramel waffles so i got a packet of each hopefully when i next go shopping they'll have more in there and i might just like stock up on <laughs> on these again because they are super yummy um and then they're doing loads of vegan and vegetarian food in, in there at the moment um and these are the linda mccartney two vegetarian country pies these are so nice and um, they're only one pound 49 at the moment so i got a couple of them just because i think these are like one of the things that once they kind of sell out 
they sell out and then i bought some of these plain bagels six pack i can't remember how much these were this was 2.99 i keep seeing this like every time Lidl's do like their American like range and I've seen it in like you know them sweet shops that sell all American foods and that and I thought you know what I'm just going to give it a go it's like the Smucker's Gobber Grape like peanut butter so I tried a bit and it's actually quite nice I thought this might be like a bit of a change to have like on my um porridge in the morning um also guys i forgot to show you mickey made me this new kitchen table it's quite tiny but we don't often really use this table so he just made me this really nice wooden little um table it's made from like old mushroom crates and then he like painted the legs for me made them more like all distressed and then what is that noise grace is probably scrapping in her bed yeah look she always randomly does this. I don't know if your dog does it, but she, it's like she's digging for like a bone in the bed. What are you doing, Gracie? Are you right, Chunky? What are you up to? What are you wagging your tail for? Oh, Rosie, you look so tired, darling. We need to wash your bed. It's got all muddy again from all the snow. Oh, what's the matter, darling? Oh, are you all right, sweetheart? <coughs> Oh, Mario's barking because he wants me to get something for him out the basket or something. What do you want me to get? Oh, he's really lazy. Sometimes he's scared of getting things at the toy basket. So he barks to get me to get it out. Oh my goodness, what have you done to this cushion? Um, oh, here it is. Look, this is his foot. Oh my goodness, it smells in there. So doggy. Oh, you've got it. He loves the blue one for some reason, even though the blue and the pink one are exactly the same. He he will always go for the blue one more than the pink one. There you go, darling. I put loads of old cushions in there for him. So it's like all cosy. Oh, do you want mummy to make a fire? I might make like a nice wood fire in a minute. Um, he then also made me this kitchen light. So he used a bit of the old mushroom crepe wood but he didn't sand this down so it had like all that kind of like natural rough effect and then he bought some electrical wire rope and some cage like light shades and some nice kind of old light bulbs everything comes off amazon i'll try and link everything down below because you did have to buy this and that separate and obviously the wire the wood you'll just have to find like anywhere um and this is what it looks like on they're quite warm lights but we tried it with some like less yellowy tingy lights and it just didn't look right um and yeah i really really love it i did want to hang it off the wall a little bit further so i could like drape down loads of fake like ivy and that but um our ceilings aren't that tall and mickey's quite tall so literally his head just comes like a couple of centimeters underneath these lampshades so I couldn't put the ivy on it but I think it actually looks quite nice like that but yeah he's so clever I just thought I'd show you that because our kitchen's kind of complete now because I really wanted a new table and a new light um, and then in this corner was pretty empty and bare but now I've added like these kind of signs and stuff and now it's filled it up and it looks so much more nicer in her now <laughs> even though i've got a massive broom in her and just loads of shopping and junk out but um yeah this little rack up here i bought these from home bargains for 99p each and then this wooden thing comes from poundland it's from like the garden section i got it last year but they always bring them out every year and then this plant comes from b m and this was from ebay and yeah, so that's my little corner all done. Mario's barking again. I think his toy's gone somewhere where he can't get it. What? What? What are you looking at? What? What do you want? What? Oh, is it because Grace is in the cage? You can see Grace can't. You can see a little white patch. I think she's hiding the nest from you because you've been horrible to her. <coughs> Come on, do you want me to throw this for you, yeah? I love it when you throw toys and his little run and his little pounce is so funny. Go on then. Get it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the shopping away. I'm going to light a fire. I've got 
loads of wood there like overflow wood because I crammed too much in the baskets over there so I had to put loads around the fire so I think I'm gonna light a little fire then I'm gonna make some cupcakes and then I think it's time for them to go in the garden guys I haven't showed you the Ikea stuff so, um but yeah I bought this for Jika like wall tile like floral wall tile um and then I got this like placemat that I'm going to use as like a little bit of a wall art in my dressing room and then I also bought this I did buy the plants to go in this but that arrived in the first Ikea order um I think this was three pound I think that one was three pound fifty or four pound um and this I think was only four pound which I think is actually really really cheap um and I'm going to put this in my um dressing room as well it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realise it was going to be that big. So this for £4 is actually such a good bargain. The plant that I wanted to go in this is just going to look silly now. So I'm going to make the cupcakes now. So you actually get quite a few like little bits in the kit. So you obviously have the violet icing mix. Uh, the actual cake mix. You get the bun cases. You can make six all together. And then you also get like obviously the palm of violets to decorate the cupcakes. All you need is a drop of milk, a little bit of butter and one egg. I think you literally just bung it all into the bowl and just give it a mix and then just bung it in the oven so it's pretty easy. While the cupcakes are cooking, I just thought I'd quickly make a nice fire. So nice and cosy and have little my candles. Once it gets like a little bit dark outside, it just gets like so super um, cosy in here. Little Grace is having a little smell of the candles. You have to be careful. It's hot. Come on, get away. It's hot. I'm going to put some more wood on the fire, I think, because it looks like it might go out. Ooh. This wood that Mickey brings over is so good for burning. It lasts for ages and it's just, oh, it's so lovely just having like a nice log fire and it's just, oh, there's something about it, just the noise, the look of it, the feel. I'm not going to lie, I... <laughs> Just made up the palm of violet icing and it literally just is disgusting. It doesn't taste nice. So it does taste kind of like violet-y, but not like the palm of violet actual sweets. So I've had to scrap that kind of idea of making palm of violet um, cupcakes. Luckily, the actual cupcake mix is just like a like plain vanilla. So these are the actual cupcakes. They have actually turned out all right. There's a little bit burnt on that side, but my oven is so funny. But they, I think they look pretty good. Um, so I've actually bought some of this Lotus Biscoff spread. I think I picked this up from B&M for like a pound. And I've actually also got like the mini biscuits, as you guys know. I have like a whole stash of these. So I thought maybe I could just put some of this on top. And then just break one of these biscuits in half and then stick that on top. So they're just cooling down. So um, I'm going to take the dogs out in the garden because they need to go for like their afternoon kind of like little walk, toilet run. Uh, so once I get back in, hopefully these will be cool enough so I can obviously decorate them. Harriet looking sexy in her pyjamas. <laughs> Chunky's going mad. <laughs> Come on then. Come on, where are we gonna go? Look a little rose jumping in the snow, she's like a little bunny rabbit. Where's Grace? Oh, there she is. She always like nips around, you can never see her. She's like a little ninja. 
Is that nice? Are you eating the snow? It's like endless ice cream out here for you, isn't it? Gracie wants to play. What are you doing, Gracie? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, get down you fall. I'm not picking you up, you're covered in snow. Get get it. Oh, here come Chunky. Come Chunks. <laughs> oh, do you love the snow, Chunky? Gracie, look, she loves eating it. Look. Chunky. There's only so much snow you can eat. Chunks. <laughs> Molly loves chasing like all the lorries and the vans and the cars that drive up and down the farm where we live. I gotta go. <laughs> She's so nutty. Mickey is now home and just having a bath. So the buns are now all cooled down. So I'm gonna go and try and decorate them to make them look a little bit half decent. Um, and then we'll probably have these with like a little cup of tea tonight. Um, I'm now going to go and start preparing a dinner as well. So I think we're going to have, we've got the salmon for tomorrow. But tonight I think we're going to have some of these country um, Linda McCartney pies. And I think I might do it with like a little roasty kind of like dinner. So I might do like the rest of the cabbage. I've got to use that up. Do some roast parsnips. Maybe I might even do, because I do quite like that. I was going to do sweet potato mash, but I actually might just do some little roast potatoes. Um, and what else do I need to use up? Because I know there's some ingredients I need to use up. I might do some stuffing as well. This is obviously very unusual, kind of having like a little roast dinner kind of during the week. It's only Tuesday. Um, while, when you're watching this video, though, I think it will be um, nearly the weekend or the weekend. These are the end result. Like I said, that they're not going to look like that tidy, but I've literally just slapped a bit of Biscoff spread on there and then one of the little biscuits on top. And they actually do look really, really yummy. I'm going to leave them here so when Mickey comes down from his bath, he can have one. Because um, I know he's definitely not going to wait until after dinner and have that like with a little cup of tea in front of the fire. He'll literally gobble them down right now. Right, so I'm now going to go and prepare dinner and um, and then while dinner's cooking I think I might relax in front of the fire and just catch up on a few emails because literally today I've been so busy. I don't think I've even been on my phone like once. Sometimes it's nice guys that are just to literally just leave your phone in another room even if it's just for like a couple of hours especially obviously seeing as we're stuck in I find that we're all on our phones and I don't think it's like very healthy for us seeing as we're always on our phones even when we're not stuck in but I feel like being stuck in is probably the best time to be able to like you know spend time with your family and just get things done like I've been doing things around the house and um yeah so I've got actually a few kind of like room tours to do with you um I'm now gonna go yeah get them ready because I'm just chattering on and literally it's now what was the time it's now half five so I need to actually get these pies in the oven so we can have dinner on time for once i don't know if you can see outside though but it's getting really dark and it just looks really kind of like magical out there i've got to go back out there again later on tonight and walk the dogs right i hope right i hope you can hear me because i forgot to do the gravy so i'm just quickly boiling the kettle but this is the little dinner i made um as you can tell me and mickey absolutely love stuffing there's stuffing, parsnips, Linda McCartney pie, carrots, this kind of type of cabbage, some roast potatoes, and then obviously some gravy. But um, I can't wait to tuck into this. I'm actually really, really hungry. 
normally throughout the day I've started to snack on loads of healthy things and normally I don't really eat during the day but I've found that um, it's actually been really filling me up so when it comes to dinner I'm actually not like as hungry as I normally am I've actually been snacking on like hummus with celery sticks or sweet um, peppers or even cucumber um, and then obviously I've got all my baby bells and then I've also been really loving oh I forgot that we have these we better eat them actually because they might go a bit funny and then I've also been really loving the Hartley's 10 calorie like um, jellies I only can seem to find them like in strawberry or raspberry um, and I normally get them from B&M because they're only like £2.49 for a pack of six but yeah, this is my dinner. I'm now gonna tuck into that. So I'm gonna just leave the vlog here because I feel like this vlog is actually really long. Like, I'm not looking forward to editing it because I feel like it's gonna take me forever. Um, yet again, my fridge alarm's going off. It's so annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna tuck into dinner. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Comment down below and let me know if you, like, you know, what, how long do you roughly like log vlogs for? And is there anything else you kind of want me to vlog? Not that I can really vlog much, but um, maybe other types of videos rather than just like being in Poundland and home bargain hauls. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.